Monica Magica Rebellion is a movie that I took nearly an hour to explain and now I'm gonna try to do it in five minutes. So let's see how successful I can be at that. We've got five, well where's it gonna be? Right here. Five minutes on the clock. Look at that editing magic. Boom. <laughs> All right and let's go ahead and start the clock and see if we can understand Monica Magica Rebellion. The first thing to understand about Monica Magica Rebellion is that this opening world that you're shown for the first like 30-45 minutes is not the world we were in when we left. Now the intro narration where the soul gem is like tumbling and you hear this dialogue it confirms for you that we actually are still in that world, the world of the race. Monica's become Gattaca and is now the Law of Cycles. But what's actually happening in the world we're being shown for the opening is the collapsing soul gem of Homura that is stuck in a containment field made by Kyube, who's trying to observe the Law of Cycles and see if he can harness any of the entropy potential during that transformation. Homura has always desired to live in a safe Mitakihara with her friends. So this initial like starting phases of a labyrinth that she's created reflects that just like how in the series Sayaka's labyrinth reflects the symphony from her wish to help Kyosuke. But after that initial opening segment where we go through all the nightmares and stuff like that, the world begins to collapse. And every, everyone that's not real in the world starts looking not real. Um, and this is reflective of Homura becoming disillusioned with the world. Because the world is predicated on Homura believing that she's in a world, in the real world, with Madoka. And as that starts to be confirmed, as she confirms like, hey, there's some sort of witch's labyrinth. And then eventually confirms, oh, like, I'm the witch that world just collapses into fireballs. <laughs> so, during this collapse, Kyuve's plan is revealed to Homura. She realizes that he's trying to control the Law of Cycles, which would eventually, like, strip Madoka of her power and her autonomy and, like, take her away from Homura, even if she transitioned on through whatever this Law of Cycles process is. And she therefore decides she has to complete her transformation into a witch instead of being saved by Monica. That way Kyuve can't learn anything about Monica. She doesn't want him to be able to observe the process where she skips that witch phase and goes directly into being saved by Monica. Now this is the one moment where Homura truly accepts Monica for who she is and the path that Monica has chosen and is even willing to die for her happiness. And, and we're talking like a permanent death, not saved by Monica, just like dead. So that's like a really beautiful moment in the series or in the movie where you see her actually embrace Monica for who she is. It's actually Monica who decides to break that and save her anyway. Monica says, no, no, you know, we're, we're gonna save her, you know, Monica and her friends, we're gonna save her. And what they do is they attack the barrier instead of attacking Homura in her witch form. Homer resists initially, but is broken down by how this puts her into conflict with Monica. So Homer makes this choice to instead just instead of just accepting Monica and acting in accordance with her understanding of what Monica wants, she's going to just follow what her own heart's desire is from that point on. And at that point, fighting alongside Monica to break the barrier and destroy the incubators inside just happens to align with what Monica wants. She's not actually supporting Monica. She's no longer embracing Monica. She's embracing only her own heart's desire. And this eventually leads to Demon Homura. So after the barrier is broken, we go back into the normal time and world. Gattaca comes to save Homura just as she's about to transform. But Homura is further along than normal because she's already gone through this transformation inside her soul gem while it was stuck in the containment field. So, Homer's desire is to still be with Monica in the real world, which they're now back in. So she uses this power of her transformation to morph it into a power to fracture Monica from her Gattaca form and rewrite the universe just like Monica did, but this time into one where they're all back at school together and Monica is no longer the law of cycles and has no memory of it. But Monica ain't buying it, right? Monica's in this new world 
and she almost immediately reconnects with her Law of Cycles form. Homer is just barely able to snatch her out of it, and this leads Homer to conclude that one day, once they defeat all the wraiths in that world, she's probably going to come into conflict with Monica and Sayaka, who also said she's never going to forget that Homer is their enemy. And this is going to likely be the plot of the upcoming movie sequel that is in production. I think it's a movie, at least. Maybe a series. But that's my time. Five minutes. Boom! Explained. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. That was, that was uh, only the third take, believe it or not. <laughs> One continuous take. That was pretty good. I'm happy with that. So, we're going to go ahead and say thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully that... Uh, you know, it's a little rough and dirty rundown, but it's something that's a little bit more digestible in a smaller form. If you have more questions or want to see a more thorough explanation of what's going on in Rebellion, I give context of the series and how, what the disconnect is with understanding Rebellion, because it's got a lot of plot twists and the way things are revealed are a little different from in the series. So I do a whole like near hour long breakdown in the video I'll link in the description below here. So if you want to see more, feel free to check that out. Um, but if you know somebody who doesn't have an hour on their time, uh, hour of time on their hands, and wants to just uh, you know watch something short and condensed that can still kind of pique their interest for what's going on in the series, hopefully this video can help with that. So thanks for watching. Keep enjoying anime.